Well, welcome back to what Leech Know. I am Noxter, and I have literally just finished recording the outro of last episode, where I talked about episodes. But anyway, and as I said at the end of the last episode, in this episode, uh, I do the tour with Thor kind of thing that I was talking about. But before that, I just, a few hours ago, I tried to kill Russ, <laughs> because there was a PvP tournament thingy, so you can watch footage of us trying to kill each other and see who wins, and then see me madly trying to kill a few other people afterwards. And then after that, I'll show you the stuff I recorded with Thor, discussing diplomacy. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> now you have the higher ground. I do. Will be one. Let's you wanna... see. No, no. No, I can't actually kick you into the fire. <laughs> okay. Just get in the way of the land here, eh? Trade upstairs. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. Just need to scratch my arm. Have a quick drinky. Do some stretches. <sighs> I am refueled. <laughs> Limber up the old sword swinging arm. Yep, cracking my knuckles. I need some intro music too. That's fine. All right. <laughs> you want to count us down, someone? Do the honors, folk. Uh, uh, three. From a hundred. Oh. Okay. A hundred. Ninety-nine. To the staircase. Nope. Oh, <laughs> oh snap! That didn't go so well. Good game, good game. Glorious battle. Good game. That's what I get for trying to pull an epic retreat up the stairs. <laughs> it was like a movie, though. It was awesome. Damn, I wasn't expecting to win. <laughs> I didn't really want to win because now I have to go on the next round. <laughs> <laughs> I have to fight. Dude, now you have to fight G. Or no, you have to Ike, fight and then G. No! Right. You have to fight Ike first, and if you mm -hmm. defeat Ike, then it's you Good and point. my brother. What? Ooh. Hey, you. <laughs> Good game. Well played. Your heart's beating a little bit faster now. <laughs> <laughs> Good little warm up before uh, the UHC tomorrow. Eh? Yeah. yeah that's, that's the big stage. That's the scary stuff right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd be fun. Yeah. Oops. 
so they could so these are supposed to be wow. Wow. Just going on a on a rage, something like that. Well, we are here with Notchster, the the wonderful dragon maker, building dragon supreme. That's so the we're one. gonna get a little. We're gonna get a little look around his base. Yeah. Then, hopefully, we'll bring him over to ours and uh, make him suffer through a little tour at our place as well. Oh, Obviously, nice. uh, to check out my base check out Notch's video and I'm sure if you want to check out a little look at my base then no the other way around if you want to check out Notch's face then continue watching my video and don't don't go anywhere because I need the views actually terribly. yeah he does <laughs> I do <laughs> all right so I believe our plan was that we were going to have some kind of diplomatic relations yes which yes, pretty much we just means we build stuff at each other's bases Absolutely, so, yes. if we go on to the north point of the Drakenberg, okay. we can look out across the north marches to Mount Borea, which is our nearest neighbour. Okay. Well, neighbouring mountain. As far as villages go, there's the Borea village and there's Akasia, which are both pretty close. Right, yo. Oh, this looks so good in the yep. Optifine with the fog. Ah. That is lovely. So what I figured would look really nice is if you built some kind of building kind of just on this northernmost point of the mountain. And I'm thinking okay. like kind of like the older steampunky style ones with the lots of different levels and the cool grooves and stuff. And maybe a yeah. few like walkways around the side because there's like lots of different tiers of the mountain. Like you got this higher top level and then there's like the lower tier around there and that's a couple of different levels there. So that could look really nice. Yeah. And then you could have like an airship dock with an airship maybe kind of flying halfway between here and Mount Borea or something like that or just a little bit possibly even at the dock. Okay. No, no, that That's sounds good. Yeah, kind of like what I had in mind. In. And maybe I was thinking maybe slightly bigger than your small ones or like bigger anyway and more of that sausage shape. So possibly like yeah, the like Larsi Pollock sort, sort of, of size, but maybe a little bit smaller than that. That's kind Okey of what dokes, I thought would yeah. look nice. And it's a nice spot. You've got the view over from here at Mount Borea. You can see Petula Vale down there. There's the North Marches, I guess is this area, and Lantern Hollow back there. And Scarwood Hill and all these other places that I haven't named yet. <laughs> you are so good at naming things. Just... <laughs> I, I, I hate to, to, to beg um, to beg help, but at some point when I'm screaming out for a name for something, I'm just I'm just gonna come to you. I'm gonna be like, not just to help me out. I need a name for something. And you're like the yep. naming, the Mr. Nomenclature. Yeah, but it, like seriously though, name your places like your landmarks, things like mountains, even just general biomes and stuff. It makes the place feel so much awesome when I've got like you know the river. It's the river Natala, it's not just the river that goes past my place. And the valley of yeah. whatever, instead of the thing. It just makes the world yeah. feel so much more awesome. It's Yeah, I mean, that's the difference. I mean, I've got a river, but that that's called the wet bit. And I've, yeah. I've got, like, a, a mountain, that's called the high bit. I've yep. got, 
you know bits next that's you know like the the shore that's the dry bit it's it, you know i just i i totally get it and i, yeah. and I love it i i like coming up with um backstories for things you no know, backstories and reasons for things to exist yeah I, i'm all over that yeah the naming it's it's a level of uh a level of yeah, well artistic thought that i just i can't get i just don't it's not it's not for thor i'm afraid yeah oh well but yeah i can do that so let's do, yeah we'll we'll have something coming off the side a little bit or yeah just or do you want to use this little bit that's down here as kind of like a starting plateau and then yeah i of... could do that just pretty much go nuts you're pretty good with the building stuff so you figure something out the only condition is it has to look good in my texture pack so the block oh. palette might need to be a little bit different. Okay, yeah. You do is it Sfax that you use? Uh, I've got my own custom one that I've made myself. Oh, okay. So right here. Like probably the dark wood, dark oak logs would go all right rather than the spruce ones. And for the roof, I quite like the way my acacia texture looks because it's actually kind of this slate grayish kind of thing. So I've used it in steampunky style stuff before, but that all bricks or something. Because my spruce wood planks are like a kind of orange colour, which is pretty similar to the actual vanilla acacia ones. Except yeah. maybe slightly nicer. They're less pink. But it was right. funny, because I made those before they had acacia trees, and then I had to add those, and it's like, oh. Well, that kind of gets confusing. <laughs> but yeah. Let's go first from the airship. We can take a, take a lot in from, from the airship, and then we'll take in the visitor's entrance. You get some good views from here, I think. It's obviously not uh, perfectly scientifically accurate because all all of the air from up here would be gushing down here, and you'd be like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. "Yeah, yeah, that would be a bit of a problem." Yeah, so let, let's let's forget science for a little bit. But yeah, here's, here's kind of the main view of of the town as it stands at the moment. Get get most things in from here. On the right hand side, we've got uh, some of the more medieval sort of style of building, and down the bottom, and that's going to be the that's all of the the lower class people will live down there up on the far bit where you can see all of the disgusting bricks if you're looking did you yeah, yeah. You're looking in default at the moment i uh, know i switched I, I copied it over so oh so you did oh, yeah, so yeah you're on the yeah yes up. the oh, bricks then, are now got nice the be looking. Be the beautiful <laughs> bricks over there instead of that pink horrible stuff that you get on default and then up the very top which is what i'm going to be building next there's going to be the the high class the elites they're going to be up in skyscrapers at the very top there. Ah. That's, that's the main plans. Also, just a few little buildings to add a little, uh, a little to the story of the place. Down the bottom, there's obviously still going to be like a, a water entrance to to the place. So there's going to be a port down there and a dock, and there's a big like elevator that will bring up crates of goods and everything yeah. from over this side but yeah it's 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 coming along I, i'll say i'm one of them builders that kind of works on quantity a lot yeah I, there's a lot of I those think houses places there. look better yeah there is it's it, well the more you build i think the better even the, the not so good places look yeah because you can hide them in <laughs> in between some ones that actually do look good the ones that will take your eye a little bit more let's go back in though and take the the actual let's go back into the oh no we don't need to let's because we're both flyers That's let's, let's pretend we've gone through there which which would be a pain with all of the yeah. extra you know but it would be really handy if someone came and built a bridge across there Mm. <laughs> I, I, I beg, beg to disagree. I'm, af I'm afraid. Oh, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm getting it up. 
But uh, yeah. th th there are plenty of bridges and ways across. I, this still needs a lot of tender loving care. It needs to be taken properly up to to here, yeah. the, the road, and maybe have like a welcome building here before the gate out. But but the bridge, I, I actually really like this bridge. It doesn't make much sense. Yeah. But but I do like it with the with the pistons down the bottom yeah. and the wheels and stuff. I think it looks it looks uh, f first class. Looks pretty nice. But but if you'll uh, if you, if you'll please take the correct entrance as, as most people don't, you'll come into the. These Americans the main, driving uh, on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, oh, no. It's as if they have invented the internal combustion engine or something, or yeah. walking. <laughs> Idiots. So <laughs> now that I've now that I've pissed off half of my viewers, uh, <laughs> on, on the left-hand side I've gone for Georgian row housing. Oh yeah. And on the back there's sort of like a small Georgian mansion. And I went instead of because everybody does Victorian for steampunk. Yeah. I decided that that was overdone, over overplayed. So I went for Georgian, and I, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, it does look I think it, really nice. It just changes it up. It doesn't look like everybody else's steampunk then. Because, I, I, in fact, you don't even have to do too much to a Georgian house to make it look okay in, like, a steampunk sort of place. In my opinion, of course. Yeah. And then over here is where things start changing. So there's brick, but there's also, like, older styles of building. It's, it's drifting into the the lower classes where yeah. where it's a bit more medieval and then down here kind of you're getting into the the rabbit warren of little streets and bits on the sides of the cliffs and scaffolding going down you, you know the kind of thing yeah you could spend a long time walking around this little town and not retrace your steps even though it's quite a little place yeah Lots this of different is alleyways nice. and stuff like that. This is my slave pen, where, where I keep uh, keep the workers. They 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 actually do nothing. This is just trying to keep them safe <laughs> until I can actually. I'll I'll set up a a good like breeder or something at some point, and then pump them all up here so I can fill in the houses with them. I like to do that as well. I think that's another nice little touch when you've got. Yeah. When you've got a town, having actual residence is pretty good. Yeah. Over here, we've got the first building I made over uh, in that corner. That's the first one in this area, anyway. I think it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. This is an old building that I've rebuilt recently. It's like one of my really old tutorials. And I finally, finally got round to doing an interior for it oh. after mm -hmm. after a long time. And up here, this is the newest stuff. We've got a couple of plateaus where the the high class living is going to be, and up the top here is where where the main bit is going to be with the with the two big steam engines, which I haven't even <laughs> mentioned yet. Now, I I could totally admit to them being a little over the top they're in huge they are they're pretty ginormous huge. but but i like them i i think the style almost requires over yeah. the top building well it's steampunk isn't it you need over the top things and crazy wheels and gears and chuff 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 things yes chuff 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 indeed at the, at, at the back here, this is where I'm going to have like the last... So I'm going to have to cut back a little further uh, down the bottom here so there's a bit more foot space. But I'm going to set up a few tall uh, skyscraper kind of buildings. I need to check how close... Uh, let me F3 for a second. Where am I? So we're on level... 133 here which gives me a hundred and something odd blocks doesn't it that I can work with that's, that should order do you 
<laughs> so that should be fine. Yeah, that's actually a lot more than I thought it was. I've only gone 50 or so high in, in creative so far. Yeah. So I've got a lot more I can work with. But the, it's going to be huge. I want it to slice this mountain in half. I want it to look like down the bottom they're kind of living with the mountain up here i want them to have disdain for it like no we're far too uh, yeah civilized to, to worry about nature nature doesn't rule us we're we're the masters mm -hmm. of nature huge great big building maybe looking again i want it to kind of keep in with the georgian style so maybe a georgian skyscraper mm. i'll make the first one that could be interesting Mm -hmm. Also, I've got uh, some incredible red sc stone skills. I'm not sure if you you were aware of this, <laughs> but but this is a fully <laughs> fully working. Oh engine. wow! <laughs> that is beautiful. That's my that's that's my. Uh, Let's look at that piston action. So, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and you, well, uh, when I made it, I was like, well, that's it. I I'm the new Azuma Void or Mumbo Jumbo. That's roll, move over. There's a new Redstoner in town. But I think that might be about it. There's a few other places that we could look from, but you've seen everything. Yeah. But as already mentioned in your, uh, you know, in the when we were over at your place yes. having a little look around the whole reason for this is to for, for relations between our two civilizations indeed so what was it that you'd offered to me so in return for my services i'm going to build so you've got like my place you're building an embassy which is a building with an airship so at your place, I'm going to build an embassy, which is a building with a dragon statue. Mm-hmm. So, as far as style goes, I don't know, really, I haven't thought too much about it. But it's, Any style would be fine. Yeah. Now, I've got a bit of a left-wing sort of... Uh, left-field sort of idea for this. If you'll follow me thusly, I have this whole island over here that although is not 100% part of the main mountain did you, did you yeah. follow me? oh you're up there Yeah. even though it's not 100% part of this main mountain it's still part of the chain and I want to start including if you look down here this is some amazing gen this is yeah. like next level terrain and I want to kind of bring this in now the only way i can do that is to start building over here well do you think that there's a way that we could maybe level off a little bit and get a little something or even yeah. just kind of get the statue over here and then i'll i'll bring some or yeah do you know what it might even be easier because i want to drag it over to this corner as well here I just want it somewhere that I'm going to be able to see your yeah. beautiful dragon from other places. No, this is maybe not so good over here because of the, the all of the houses in the way. Yeah, that's a good point. But like, it kind of sticks out almost like a peninsula kind of thing. So yeah, it does. Almost come be good out if you could like be standing out, looking over across the valley, going raw. Kind of maybe that would be incredible. perched on the edge. Yeah. A, sh a show of our uh, military might and unity against all who may come and try and ruin that. Well, I I, I think I can leave it up to you. I, what whatever you choose, oh, I would right. trust. But I, I think this corner or that um, kind of like it's not an island, but you know that that a nub kind of over there. Thing. Yeah, the little peak thing. Or anywhere else that you might choose ever, <laughs> you know, mm. you have full reign as long as it's not up on those top couple of platforms over there. I am one hundred percent behind you. Awesome. Excellent. Well, I think I'll leave that with you then. Yeah. And now that we've had a little look around both of these bases. Would you say we uh, wrap this up? 
Sounds like a plan. Start, start thinking about how we're going to implement some of these some of these ideas that we've given each, uh, each other. Yeah. Lovely. Well, uh, just just breaking the fourth wall. This is the first time I've actually met Notchster. We chatted in uh, chat a little bit in, in typing in chat, but it, it was a true pleasure to meet you, sir. It Indeed. really was. And you? What a lovely guy. I, I don't believe all they say about the, the people from your country anymore. <laughs> and, and you don't even seem drunk, which really surprises me. But I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Have a good one. <laughs> yeah. Take it easy. in the exact opposite direction. Let me pull up F3 here. <laughs> I need to be going towards... Oh, right. Possibly might never see you again. So you need to be heading yeah, south. Maybe. Needs to be heading south. Ah, facing north. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, well. Yep. Well, nice knowing you. It is, it is also so brief.